Hi guys, it's Alessandra, and um, New Year's is in a couple of days, so I decided I would try some New Year's treats, or you know, things that would be good for New Year's. I'm um, drinking actually, it's from Trader Joe's, I'm drinking um, this apple cider stuff. It's only 5.4% alcohol, so you could drink the whole bottle by yourself, even though it's, like, that big. It's really good. Um, I think it's gluten-free. My sister, Gabriella, bought me this for Christmas. I think I'm supposed to be a tiger. <laughs> it's cute, right? And I'm trying field roast, celebration roast. I'm going to insert a photo because um, this one you have to cook, so it's actually kind of hot. This one you have to cook, so um, I took the wrapper off, and it's um, stuffed with mushrooms and apples and butternut squash, and it's by Field Roast, and it says Celebration Roast on it, and I don't know where my... Here's my knife. I got it. Okay. Show you what I'm eating. It's the next thing I'm trying. This is not gluten free. So I just didn't even invite my sister this time. <laughs> like only half of what I'm trying is gluten free. She keeps getting rashes. She gets sorry, she keeps getting rashes from doing these with me. This better be good. Some of the stuffing is weird sometimes. Okay, put my knife, I put my fork too deep and I'm like digging in with my fork. Okay. So. Hmm. This is good. Here's some of the stuffing. I like this. Kind of expensive, but it's crunchy. Good flavor. Did not come gravy. You know, sometimes you have to deduct points if there's no gravy, so. Hmm. <clears throat> the stuffing's good. It's not like a stuffing. I guess it's stuffed in there. It's kind of a stuffing. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe like Hmm. Field roast celebration roast. I think eight. Maybe take money into factor to seven. I had to wait for this to be on sale to try it. This is good because a lot of people for New Year's you have family dinner. And um, I know a lot of you aren't vegan, but you just stumbled upon my video because you typed in the word drunk. So <laughs> this is good for your uh, vegan or vegetarian person. Not your gluten-free person. I know a lot of people get it confused for some reason. They also think organic and vegan are the same. Macrobiotic and vegan are the same. Trying to stuff in with the turkey together. But they're all different, so yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I've been drinking. I can't. Mm -hmm. I'm a chef. So I do, like, touch hot stuff, but, like, it's, like, too hot to really just keep holding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Up next, we have Trader Joe's. Um, <clears throat> handcrafted veggie samosas. 
So these are handcrafted veggie samosas, which is good because I know like hors d'oeuvres are like good for parties, good for New Year's. Because sometimes instead of having a family dinner, you just want to pick, which is what most people in my age group do. And, um, hmm. Not good. It might be too spicy for people who have no spice tolerance. But it's like, it's not really spicy. It's not some people who are like babies. Hmm. They're fried. It's 120 calories for two. 30% calcium, it says, though. So that's pretty good. Shit, 30% calcium? What the fuck's in this? There's like spinach, corn. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty good. I gotta tell you, these are really good. And I've made some poses myself, so I'm biased. Are they peas? I don't really taste peas. I don't know where the I don't know how to read the box. Here we go. Potatoes, wheat flour, so it's not gluten free. Cauliflower, palm oil, ear. Green peas. I didn't see peas. Onions, spinach, green peas. It doesn't say it twice. Oh no, green beans. And it was green peas above. Wheat gluten. Green coriander leaves. Salt, ginger, sugar, coriander seed, cumin, red chili flakes, lemon juice, generic spices. Um hmm. It's a lot of calories for two gonna affect its score. Just gonna give it a seven. Yeah. Well, I guess eight if we do it by taste. And still a little bit by like uh, calories because I can't forget the calories. That's calcium in it so maybe like an eight and a half. No just an eight. These are good though. Okay. Um. I could probably do a recipe video. Not for like these exact ones, but like. I made them in school and like once after that. And now that my cup's free, our favorite Christmas and New Year's treat. I also drink it during Thanksgiving and a little bit uh, after New Year's. <laughs> This is eggnog, but with a twist, so it has more spices than just, um, normally it's just like, what do you put in here? Normally it's just, um, cinnamon in here and a little bit of nutmeg, or you could do pumpkin pie spice, which would be cinnamon, nutmeg, and like a little, um, ginger and, uh, oh, what's that seed called? I, I want to say coriander, because that's all I remember now. <laughs> Sorry, I paused it and forgot that I was filming, and I started eating the, the um, field roast, celebration roast that's not meat. Um, yeah, so normally eggnog is like egg and like cream or milk, which is sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg, but sometimes people make it like pumpkin pie spice style, which is nutmeg and the cinnamon, but also with ginger and clove, not coriander, <laughs> clove, and um, yeah. But this is a special eggnog because it's with chai spice and there's no egg or milk. It's called a Almond Breeze Almond Milk Nog. And it's vanilla chai, so there's vanilla in it too. I heard back in the day some people would call it uh, egg punch instead of eggnog. Mmm. 
Oh my God. This is fantastic. Mm. Oh my God. This is a 10. Actually, it's not traditional eggnog because it's chai spice. So I have to only make it a nine. And it's, oh, it's vanilla chai spice, almond breeze. Such a very cute cover. It's only 60 calories, but this is a eight serving container, not four like the normal milk. Even though it's like a dessert one, they still fortified it with a bit of calcium. So it's 15% calcium for what would be half a glass of almond milk, but considered a full portion of this. Yeah, this is great. I'm actually going to top this off with some whiskey. <laughs> and then I'm going to have a glass of water, brush my teeth, and go to sleep. Because, like, I don't want to be too shit-faced. <laughs> hey. All right, everyone. This has been Drunk Beacon Taste Test. New Year's Eve edition. I'm Alessandra Wiener. And, um, <clears throat> I approve this video. Bye. Oh, don't, like, drink and drive this New Year's. Or, like, get in the car with someone who's less drunk. Because, like, it shouldn't be who's less drunk who drives. It should be who is in no way drunk or intoxicated. That's who should drive. All right, bye.